Hello, Heiko. Hello, John Jacques. So this is this uh, child mandible from Ewood that we have to scan today. Okay. Uh, shall I put it in the scanner myself? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, very nice, uh, very nice 3D, yeah? very good resolution, and especially with dental structure, I think we have very nice pictures inside. Uh, I'm going to turn off the visual surfaces. Yes. Yes, we see all the germs inside forming and the roots of the teeth. This is a child about seven and a half to eight years old, uh, based on the dental microstructures mm. that uh, we have seen in, um, in Grenoble on the synchrotron. Very, very nice, very nice specimen. So this is the reconstruction of Ewood one, yes. the, the neurocranium. Yes. So yeah. the image and uh, yeah. one side space. Yeah, you you might roll yeah. the, the missing parts. Okay, maybe we, we should um, cut it and see how the endocast look like. Okay. So um, cut. So that would be like yeah. so you can see. It's really elongated. It's not uh, a globular like in the normal mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and, uh, and the cerebellum is relatively small. Yeah, and it's still, uh, still quite dark. Right. And um, if we turn on the other cast, yeah. it's even more impressive. So you don't have yet this, this parietal bulging and, uh, um, and also the cerebellum. It's small. Mm -hmm. Well, it's small, but it, it's not as small as, as in the other as in the other mm -hmm. but uh, it's smaller than yours and mine. It's it's announcing mm -hmm. the, the modern shape. Yeah. Um, yeah, for the basic cranium, we don't have much. No. So, yeah. so basically, you see yeah. that there's a big hole there yeah. because. Um, but it's a, it's a rather uh, large brain already. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it's clear that that um, you know these shape changes from elongated to globular. Mm -hmm. This is not a. It's not a long tree. This has nothing to do with uh, mm. with brain size. It's a, re a reorganization of 